Hi, my name is Anthony. I am a filmmaker here in Los Angeles, and I am making a new film. My last film was called Danielle. It was a short film on aging, and it took a family reunion. I shot stills and morphed them together to emulate the aging process and to study what aging does to people over time. And it receives a lot of attention, and now I am setting my sights on another subject matter that is interesting to me. Uh, it's post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. I was inspired to tackle this subject um, by reconnecting with an old friend of mine who was almost beaten to death last year and is suffering from a lot of the same trauma that veterans suffer through or anyone who goes through an extreme physical trauma. And reconnecting with him and talking to him for hours on the phone, many times um, I got the feeling that people that are going through this uh, have a hard time describing to others how they feel and feel very much alone in the world. So I uh, thought it was important to try to put a visual representation to uh, an injured mental state. In addition to uh, being inspired by my friend who had gone through this life-altering event and this trauma that followed, um, in meeting with uh, a friend of mine, Paul Fedor, who I'm going to be co-directing this with, uh, we were brainstorming ideas for something to collaborate on, and we were um, inspired by Bjork's The Hunter video, which uses a lot of facial morphing. I plan on co-directing this with Paul Fedor, who is a director and effects artist here in Los Angeles. And we are enlisting a crew of five to seven artists to um, help us bring these kinds of injured thoughts out into a visual medium. So we are specifically using a program called ZBrush, and we are going to film and interview people with PTSD and take those interviews, construct a narrative, and on that narrative overlay these sort of facial mutations to fit what is being described in the, um, in the content of the narrative. PTSD is a very um, hard thing to treat. A lot of people end up either becoming alcoholics or drug addicts or committing suicide and the treatment is not always helpful to them. Um, so if I can bring more awareness towards the subject and maybe reach some people who are suffering from it and can identify with what I'm trying to show, then maybe they can uh, feel like somebody understands what they're going through. I feel like this is an important subject. It um, gives a voice and a face to a lot of people who feel like they don't have one. Um, maybe it will help people treating patients with PTSD to better understand what they're going through. And in short, I just want to thank you for watching this and reading my project description. And please donate. I believe it's a, it's a good, important subject matter that is underrepresented in this country. And I would like to help give it some more exposure and try to help some of these people if I can. Thanks.